Hey guys, today I have the Galaxy S4 from US Cellular. Um, it's in black mist, and of course, it, I've been using it for all, all weekend, not about all this week. And it's got smudges and everything all over it, but US Cellular's 4G LT. Of course, 4G hasn't hit my area yet, but that's okay. Um, it comes with the charger here. And that's the USB port. There's the home button, the menu button, the back, and they're capacitive so you can't see them. That's the charge the LED for charging the microphone noise cancellation. And then they got a microphone down here for talking. Uh, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the R blaster. Power button and volume rocker, and then on the back we have the 13 megapixel 1080p recording camera and the LED flash, and then your speaker. It says Goxis 4 and your cellular right there. Um, you do get some earbuds with it when you purchase it at a US cellular store. Um, let's see if I can, yep, uh, and what comes in the box, if I can get the box over here, is you do get pretty much everything in the box, and you get these old earbud things, if you have smaller ears, bigger ears, you know, so you were, and someone will keep your contacts. And get this device. Get to know your device. And then warranty information, I believe. Um, and then here's the box. It's 4G LTE capable. And then watch on. And of course, you know the hard blasters there. And it's running KitKat out of the gate. I'm assuming they updated it and everything. Once I got my hands on it, um, of course it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4.0 and all that. Good jazz. So, without further ado, we power this device up and it's charging by the way because the battery is really low. Um, Let's go ahead power the device up. Of course, this isn't the first boot. It's already been activated and everything. Um, the US Cellular Store has to do that for you. It's not like Verizon where it activates itself. Yay! Yeah, the little Samsung logo. And then your buttons light up there. And there it is. Of course it searches for service here and then it finds it and says US Cellular. And you unlock the screen. And this is what we get. So it's a five inch 1080p Super AMOLED display. And of course it's 3G right now because LTE hasn't got here yet in my area, but it's coming this year, I think. Then you swap it down, it says you a cellular, you got your Wi-Fi, GPS, and basic stuff. And then, I pretty much keep most of these turned off, I kind of keep it stock. And if I can, and then, Let's see, we got apps. We got a bunch of apps. Some of them I installed myself, and then some that was already on here. So, can't really show you any music for rumored copyright issues, but I will show you that the device is running KitKat. Here, see, KitKat. Boom. Gonna do this. Let it load up here. 
And I hope this gets a lollipop pretty soon, so. Comes out with the dessert cake. And you get to just tap on stuff and play with it and all sorts of stuff, so. And you've got two gigabytes of RAM on this device. Um, but I love the phone, I mean, I'm going to continue using it. And this has infinite scroll, where the Note 3 does not. So that's what I like about this one. Or the Note 3. Huh. And you got your dollar. You get your voicemail and all sorts of stuff. Um, but overall, I love it. I mean, there's no cons about the device whatsoever. Um, and you can swap down if you want to add widgets. But if you don't have any, then guess what? Which you can enable it, but I choose not to. Because I really don't care. Not the widgets on the lock screen. And I'll show you this also has 2 gigabytes of RAM here. I have to end this all the time for some reason. See, it's got two gigabytes here. Let's clear the memory out. I do that frequently. And then it shuts down like so. I'm going to power off and OK. And the device will shut down. Then of course you got the charger thing, because it's still hooked up to the charger, so. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, rate, and subscribe.